Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. This time we're going to talk about stoichiometry, the mole. In our daily lives, we measure things by counting or weighing. We weigh rice but we count eggs. We use mass units like kilogram and counting units like a dozen to express the amount of things. In similar ways, daily life in the laboratory also need measuring substances. We want to know the numbers of chemical entities, like atoms, ions, molecules, or formula units that react with each other. Hence, chemists have devised a unit called mole to count chemical entities by weighing them. A counting unit like dozen tells you the number of objects but not their mass. A mass unit like kilogram tells you the mass of objects but not their number, while the mole tells us both the number of objects in a given mass of substance. Now let us define the mole. The mole, abbreviated as mole, is the SI unit for amount of substance. It is defined as the amount of a substance that contains the same number of entities as the number of atoms in 12 gram of carbon. This number is called Avogadro's number in honor of the Italian physicist Amedeo Avogadro which is equal to thus one mole of carbon contains one mole of water contains one mole of salt contains entities can be atoms molecules and formula units another quantity used in laboratory is known as molar mass denoted as m Molar mass of a substance is the mass per mole of its entities, atoms, molecules, or formula units, and as units of grams per mole. In addition, molar mass of an element is found in the periodic table of elements. Here is the roadmap in converting mass to amount in mole to entities, atoms, molecules, or formula units, and vice versa. If we're given amount mole of a substance, we just need to multiply the amount mole by the molar mass grams per mole to get the mass grams of a substance. Similarly, multiply the amount by Avogadro's number to get the number of entities. If we're given mass, just divide it by the molar mass to get the amount. So as the number of entities divided by Avogadro's number to get the amount. Let us try solving some problems. Silver is used in jewelry and tableware. How many grams and atoms of silver are in 0.0342 mole of silver? We have 0.0342 mole of silver multiplied by its molar mass 107.9 grams per mole to get the mass of silver. On the other hand, we have 0.0342 mole of silver multiplied by Avogadro's number to get the number of atoms of silver. We need to report it with three significant to respect the rule of significant figures. For many purposes, it is important to know how much of an it is important to know how much of an element is present in a given amount of compound. For that, we find the composition of a compound in terms of mass percent of each element. To determine mass percent of an element, we have this formula. As always, the individual mass percent adds up to 100%. Now for the another problem. In mammals, Lactose or milk sugar is metabolized to glucose, the key nutrients for generating chemical potential energy. What is the mass percent of each element in glucose?
Now for one mole of glucose, it contains 6 mole of carbon, 12 mole of hydrogen, and 6 mole of oxygen. For 6 mole of carbon, its mass is carbon, its mass is for 12 mole of hydrogen, its mass is for 6 mole of oxygen, its mass is now the mass of 1 mole of glucose is 180.16 grams. Now let us tally in the table. To calculate for mass percent of each element, we just need to divide the mass of an element to the total mass and multiply it by 100. To summarize, let us present it in table form. And that's it. I hope you learned something today. Once again, this is Easy Engineering.